Yeah, that's right. I'm selling my sneaker collection. I know I don't do this often, but I want to make sure that I give you guys the chance to get some of the shoes from my personal collection. So I'm going to make a video today breaking down what we're going to do, how you guys can get them and all the other things that go along with it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So for those that don't know, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show <laughs> on this channel. I love talking about sneakers, helping you guys with tips and tricks and showing you guys some of the rare sneakers in the world. And I've been collecting sneakers for over 15 years now, way before I started social media and YouTube. And like most collectors out there, sometimes you got to do a little spring cleaning. And I've already put a big pile of clothing and sneakers aside for donations. Now I got a bunch of shoes that I want to sell. And if you guys want to get them, I'll be posting them all on my website at shopdnashow.com. But don't worry, we're going to go through a bunch of the sneakers in today's video. And I'll tell you guys a little bit of the stories and how I got them or whatever it may be or why I'm getting rid of them. And a lot of these sneakers I got doubles, triples of, I've been wearing already, I've been through the rotation, kind of not my vibe anymore. So many different reasons as to why I'm getting rid of the shoes. All right, we got the Pollen Ones. I wore these to a Steelers game. I got a couple extra pairs of these, so I was like, I don't really need uh, to have these still. Plus the Taxi Ones just came out, so it's a low top. Clean shoe, again, I love this for that kind of fall time, winter time, rainy day type sneaker. Got a little crease in, I've been wearing these, but um, there's some good tread on here still. The stars aren't really missing the tread on the back end. Just a little dirt on there, but you know, I keep most of my shoes clean, even if they're like my rockers or my beaters or anything like that. So as you can see from those couple sneakers right there, I've gotten my wares out of them, but I still have a couple extra pairs of the same exact shoe. And there's other models that look very similar to those. So I'm like, why do I need to have multiples of that? If there's another iteration that has come out now and I got that one as well. So I don't need to have all of them plus multiples and doubles and triples of every single shoe. Now, one question that I get asked a lot is how many pairs of shoes do you have? How many is too many? What's the most expensive? All those different things. So when it comes to how many pairs of shoes do I have currently right now I got around 500 pairs of shoes normally when I'm at my peak I'm normally around 750 sometimes closer to 800 pairs but I always try to keep it below 500 as much as possible just because it takes up a lot of space there's a lot of new sneakers that are coming out literally like multiple every single week at this point so it's just so many releases with reviews content me getting new pickups uh trading for samples pe's different things that i got going on it can definitely get overwhelming when you got sneakers here there and kind of just everywhere at this point now i also say that to say when i build my dream house don't worry, I'm gonna easily have a thousand pairs of shoes in my collection, but I'm slowly curating the pieces that I want for that collection to show that one day in the future. But right now, just kind of playing conservative, still making my investments outside of sneakers as well. And when I'm ready to make that play, don't worry, I'll show you guys my entire shoe collection. But right now it's just way too hectic and I got so many amazing stories with all the shoes that I have. So that's why I have my sneaker collection because I truly love this stuff. And again, like I said, I was doing all this way before social media a long time ago. So to me, this is truly the passion of being a sneakerhead and loving collecting and completing sets and having different generations and models and cuts and materials like I show you guys with the reviews on my channel. I like to have all the different eras and see the nostalgia and all those things behind it. But besides all that, I know you guys wanna see some more shoes. So let's go ahead and run through some of those. And I actually have some other stuff that's been on the website, but I'm not sure if you guys knew about it because I haven't really talked about it as much. But again, shopdnashow.com, that's where you're gonna see everything. Also the merch and everything is linked just below this video right here. So if you click on that down below, that'll also get you directly to the website where you can get merch or cop sneakers or do both, whatever you like to do. Either way, let's look at some more kicks and I'll show you guys what I'm getting rid of. This one right here, this is a custom dip dye Air Force One that I did for a video. And I was like, you know what? A lot of people actually asked me for this particular pair. So I said, you know what, F it. Let's go ahead and put it up, see if anybody wants to grab them. Personally, I think the right foot came out even cleaner. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Definitely a dope little concept. Remember the era of everybody doing dip dyes? This one I was kind of first starting up on YouTube. I wanted to try it out as well. But I feel like it did solid. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. One right here, very interesting. For all my 15 fans out there, we got the Billie Eilish Air Jordan 15s. I'm just running out of space. And these in particular, I still like this shoe a lot. But for right now, I think I'm gonna let them go. Also, I have so many pairs of Prestos and a lot of people ask me about these. So comfortable. I got literally all the color rays, all the different things. So I figured I might as well get rid of one. I got like a lot of different red versions. I've only worn those a couple of times. They're kind of snug. Um, Union Dunks, here's another one. I've been getting a lot of Dunks and SBs lately. This one in particular, I feel like I can get it back if I really want it, but for right now, kind of just chilling off of it. I think this would be a good pickup for somebody to add that to their collection. Those are still brand new. We got some metallic fives right here too. Missing the insoles. 
and this is what 2011 something like that uh they're still solid nothing crazy wrong with them just a little bit older wore these before i got so many metallic fives different generations and stuff so this is kind of my rock around pair now this could potentially be your rock around pair okay so like i was talking about earlier this is a bunch of different stuff as well that's been sitting in here that needs to be gone i just gotta get it out the way it's a bunch of random cool rock around sneakers some unique stuff i've did this from different mystery boxes and some leftover stuff from past videos so all these items are also listed on the website as well shopdnashow.com now let's look at some of the other items over here i think i haven't even worn these yet we got some bread patent leather ones give you guys a quick look at these i'm sure you guys know what all these shoes look like already but definitely gonna be another good cop for somebody got a couple pairs of those top haze four um i'm on in year the air jordan four it kind of i know it's like not the same but it's similar that one just kind of outdoes this one for me and i have so many air jordan fours already so i don't know i i like the shoe but it's never been like a top 10 shoe for me so because of that i'm kind of like being selective again and getting rid of a couple things I'm, I'm gonna add some other uh jordan fours and other numbers as well to the site uh but yeah we got some dunk lows right here clean shoe i wore these a few times uh maybe i don't know like five or six times uh what else we got here another one this is a good shoe it's crazy these are going up I literally saw some wild prices for some dead stock pairs of these. This pair is still clean. I, I used to wear these um, every now and then. It's always good. That rainy day shoe, honestly, for me, just having the patent leather. I love that aspect of uh, this shoe in particular. And I love patent leather shoes. This was another one. Oh, wait, no. This one, Laser Anniversary. I got this uh, in a video buying these off of somebody off of offer up. And uh, it was fun making the video. Used to have these in my collection. Then I got them back. And then now <laughs> I'm getting rid of them again. Again, you guys know from my Jordan 1 collection videos, I've got about 80 pairs of Jordan 1s and I've been getting a lot of Jordan 1 PEs. Speaking of that, let me show you guys one of my new pickups real quick before we get going with the rest of these shoes. These bad boys right here. I got the Florida Gator Air Jordan 1 Low PE. You guys know I have the high top as well. Uh, I need to get you guys a review. I know a lot of people have been asking but I was waiting for these to come in low key. That's what I was waiting to do to review, but I'll give you guys a full in-depth review of these as well. And I got some more Jordan 1 low PEs coming in soon too. So stay tuned for that, but we got to get back to the video. I know this isn't a pickup video, but I do like these. And that's why I said, I'm getting so many shoes in. I got to get rid of some shoes too. Let's get back to seeing what else we got to get rid of. These are just a couple things that I know a lot of people. Oh, here's another one. Mocha Air Jordan 1. Worn these a handful of time, got a few pairs, and then I got the Travis Scotts, and then you got the new ones that are coming out that kind of look like these as well, but it's just all black with that bread color pattern. Um, so when I saw that, I was like, you know what? I don't need to have multiple mochas. Uh, just, you know, kind of have one of each, uh, but this is a great rocker. You can see like literally, these are really actually really, really clean. It's a great shoe right here. So I'm sure somebody will be a very happy camper with adding that, being able to get a used pair. Uh, what else we got right here? Ooh, okay. So this one, I got these when they originally came out. What was that 2010, something like that? And I thought it would be cool to, this is probably my favorite Jordan 13 of all time, but I also have the retro and I had the OG and all the different versions. And I thought it would be cool to let somebody else get a blast from the past and add that to their collection. And if I need to go back and get them for any reason, I will be able to find a pair, you know, someday or whatever. But I wore these. Yes, I know they look brand new, but I definitely wore these and I always took care of them uh, over the years. So hopefully whoever gets these, they take care of them as well and enjoy the sneaker because I have a lot of memories with this shoe. I know it doesn't seem like it, but trust me. I wore these to some of my biggest meetings back in the day when I was, you know, just starting to consult with Nike and doing different things. So this was uh, this was fun, you know, being young and and building my business and all those different things. So people say, oh, you got all those memories. But I had hundreds of shoes with so many memories. So I think it's OK to finally part with these and let go. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think these this is a good shoe. I really like these a lot. Now, let me show you guys something weird, because I know you guys always I like weird stuff, too. All right, size extra large, just for me. Hold on real quick, there we go. All right, we got the acronym Presto. These things go crazy, bro. I still love this shoe. It's just to the point now where I'm like, just because I love the shoe, am I actually gonna wear it? I don't know, but 
I love Prestos, like I said earlier. Um, I got a lot of Prestos in my collection. And now with the off-whites and everything coming out and the different patterns and Nike by you making different things, um, it just kind of makes it hard to, you know, keep so many pairs of Prestos in my collection. So I try to be selective with, you know, each model and hopefully have under 20 of it or under 10 of it if possible when it comes to Jordan 1s, 2s, 3s, 4s, Prestos, Air Force 1s, Dunks, you name it. It's just, it's just so many different options when it comes to different things. So... Great shoe, still brand new, as you can see from the bottom right here. Never, uh, I tried them on, but that was about it. But yeah, this is another good shoe. I like these a lot. So that kind of gives you guys a small gist to everything. Now, what's gonna happen is, if you're watching this video right now when it just came out, if you're a member of my Sneakerhead Academy, you always get first access to new merch, new sneakers, whatever it may be. So if you see anything that's sold out right when you got there, that's because somebody from the Academy or somebody else bought the shoes before you. And if you want that access, just hop into the community so you can get that exclusive access. And I'll make sure I have the link for you guys down below in the description for that as well. Now, another thing that I want to do is I'm adding all those shoes to the site and I'm also gonna slowly trickle more sneakers to the site throughout the week. So if you see something pop up at a random them Tuesday at three o'clock hint hint <laughs> no I'm not gonna do it Tuesday at three o'clock but either way I'm gonna randomly put stuff on the side as well so you guys can have that random chance so hopefully that can just make a couple people more happy when they get the sneakers and know they got them off of spur of the moment type thing and either way like I said shopdnashow.com that's where everything is gonna be available in the future I think I need to do this more often so maybe every like three to six months four months something like that I'll add more stuff to the site get rid of things because I just got to keep making space there's a lot of shoes coming in right now uh, if you guys enjoy this or if you want to see more I know everybody's gonna have requests on what they want me to sell for my collection and everything. Again, I'm just kind of based off of my mood in the moment and how I feel of what I want to get rid of right now. But if you got any questions or anything, drop a comment down below. And I'm looking forward to seeing you guys all place your orders. And again, check out the merch. We got a bunch of different stuff as well that's in the works. And I'll see you guys at SneakerCon Chicago. That's gonna be a fun one. So with all that being said, I'm out. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. Hey, hey, the pop. only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today.